The three most common types of radiation, which we describe as radioactivity, will cause ionisation. It is ionisation that causes damage to living tissue, and it is ionisation that we most often use to detect and measure radioactivity. Let's look at how this might happen. For example, gamma photons or fast-moving alpha or beta particles interact or collide with outer electrons creating a positive ion and free electrons. That electron might go and attach itself to another molecule to create a negative ion. The Geiger Muller tube, which is the essential part of a Geiger counter, uses ionization. It consists of a steel tube earthed on the outside with a thin mica window. Down the centre of the tube is a positively charged rod at a potential difference of about 450 volts. The inert monatomic gas within the tube is usually helium or argon. If some radiation enters the tube through the mica window, then it will ionise some of the atoms of gas. The low mass electrons will accelerate rapidly to the centre positive rod. However, in doing that, they will hit and chip off electrons from many atoms along the way. As these extra electrons accelerate towards the centre, they will chip off more in turn, creating an avalanche of millions or indeed billions of electrons. This pulse of electrons will be recorded as a single event. This whole process takes the tiny fraction of a second so that the tube becomes ready for the next photon or particle. Thank you for watching.